Thing in your interview, there was something very unique and special happened today, and I'm making a declaration that as citizens of the kingdom of God, we are not going extinct. Amen. Amen. We are not going extinct. Hallelujah. God be the glory. I thought I would just take a quick mention that we now have complete uh, guides uh, day by day for Sukkot, what's going on. And between my wife, uh, Revis and Rachel, and Mostly Debbie. And Sister Debbie. And it's going in and out, so can you hear it? Is this still working? Okay. Uh, this is the, uh, we have copies available if you are interested. Uh, no, I, I don't want to use this. I'm taking it, I'm taking it off. <laughs> Dear, we need the, the latest one that we made uh, to copy, so, so yes. just make sure, because I made some changes this morning. We forgot to put the name on there, who we are. That's okay, we, but anyway, just to let you know, this week, if you go to ChristTheMessiahChurch.com, you will find a section there called Festivals. And on their festivals open it up and there is a variety of videos that my short videos that uh, Rachel and I have prepared and also uh, Jonathan uh, created a wonderful little invitation for young people and children. So uh, take a look at them and there will be the schedule every day. What's going on, what time, who's speaking and what's the topic. And we have some awesome topics that are coming up this year. Are you aware of this, that this year, two other Messianic congregations are taking a day, and that day belongs to them, on, on this property, during Sukkot, we're going to have the Jacksonville Jewish Messianic Congregation, led by Rabbi Yuri, is going to be here. His, his worship team will be leading worship at night at 630. That rabbi is going to be preaching on campus here that night. And I'm just astounded that we have this year Khalid Elohim and their rabbi John Schutz. They're going to be here as well, bringing their congregation on the campus. This is the first year we're in year two of Sukkot that we have other Messianic communities in Jacksonville coming together and we're doing something in a unified fashion on this campus. It's the big top in the biblical gardens. We have astounding teachers the Lord has blessed us with. Brother Nathan Wilbur, some of you know Paul Wilbur, Nate's son, is going to be here uh, preaching uh, one night. Uh, Petra Scott uh, with Road to Jerusalem and part of Celebration is going to be here preaching. We've got preachers and teachers, interesting topics. Our own sister Megan is actually teaching a session on, she did a wonderful job on teaching us how do you tie tzitzi. It's a workshop. You're actually going to be able to learn what these are, how they're tied, and why you want to wear them. Her husband, for the first time, her husband is going to be on campus. He is, he is, a, he is an, a really a distinguished more. astronomer, and he's used his knowledge of astronomy to be able to predict when festivals, when holy festivals, according to scripture, ought to begin. By following lunar and uh, solar uh, signals. And he's going to be teaching about that. We have... Classes. Let me just give you an example. Annette Reader, how many of you want to get healthier? Yes. How many of you are in great health right now? <laughs> Lynn, put your hand down. You told me you're trying to drop pounds. I can't believe you do that. Spiritual health, right? Spiritual health, yes. Annette Reader is coming. She is a world-renowned nutritionist, but from a biblical perspective using biblical materials and foods and grains. And she's gonna be teaching some wonderful classes. Uh, 
Eliana, Eliah, some of you may know Eliana, they're flying in from Israel. She and her mom are flying into Israel, will be on our campus. And by the way, those of you that have been wanting to lead some shofars, we're going to have about close to 200 talits and 200 shofars that will be available in, during the Sukkot festival uh, through our bookstore. And what else do we have? Uh, Eliana is coming. Bob Rivka is coming oh, back. Oh yeah, Bob Rivka is coming. And the Perezes are going to help us out with some music as well. Dr. Bill is going to be doing uh, lectures on the feasts, particularly focusing on the ones that happen uh, during the month of Tishri, they are the three most significant festivals. He will be teaching, he's gonna be dressed as a high priest, he has a high priest outfit, and we, they are repairing. How many of you saw the little uh, Mishkan, the, ta the Tabernacle of Moses out in the foyer? That was a gift from one Messianic congregation to this congregation, Zerah Abraham, uh, and we're going to thank them when they uh, come on campus in, uh, in a couple of weeks. And Dr. Bill and I believe Miss Lisa are doing work. So the lid is off. That doesn't mean that you're supposed to go in and write your name in there. You know, drawing hearts and arrows. Don't touch the sand. Uh, but anyway, he's going to be teaching on that. Uh, Mike Holman is going to be doing Simchat Torah. And I just think there's, I, I don't know if there's anything. Oh, yeah, we're having another rally, our third pro-Israel rally on Friday, October, I think it's on here, Friday, October the 14th, uh, we're going to have a pro-Israel rally. I don't, how many have ever been to one of our rallies? It is amazing. It is amazing. And I'd like you to join us. So if you are interested, uh, you might even see uh, Rebetz and Rich Rachel and give her your name. And we'll make sure you get one. And also we have something going on all week for kids. So if you have children, let them know we have activities all week long. To God be the glory. And I want to thank Robert this morning. You haven't met Robert, but uh, yeah, we, you have. Just stand up for a moment. Uh, Robert's from South Korea. And I want to thank him. Good morning, Robert. Thank you. He has been working in the biblical gardens along with Lynn and Deb, and he's he's outworked them to the point that last week he worked so hard, Robert. He worked so hard, boy, boy. Poor Lynn couldn't even get out of bed for days. He was just laying flat, exhausted. But thank you, Robert. And any of you, by the way, that are off the next couple of weeks that want to come by and spend a little bit of time on campus. There are so many things that you can do. You don't have to do heavy things. There are many things. So just give us a call or come by and say, hey, what can I do? Robert, on behalf of the Eden Biblical Gardens, thank you. I didn't think it was possible to out-sweat, out-labor the Zafkis. <laughs> but you've zapped the Zafkis. <laughs> for those of you that may be visiting for your very first time, we want to welcome you. We hope you feel welcome. Maggie, it's so good to see Maggie back yeah. from death. Yeah. Hallelujah. They were actually, she was in the hospital, and they came by and said, we want to know what you want to do, what's your death arrangements, who's going to take care of what. She threw him out. She did. She told him to get out. You shall live and not die. Hallelujah. Okay, enough on the announcements for now. All right, if you have your Bibles. We are in Exodus chapter 8. I want you to recognize something that perhaps you would have under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have picked up on its significance. Mm -hmm. But the Parsha we're about to read this morning is chapter 8, and it technically begins at 16. But I want to read the verse that precedes it, if you don't mind. I want to read verse 15. 